How to make a search in Orcs Development Studio. Orcs Development Studio is based on Eclipse, so we have a few different ways we can do a search. For example, if I want to search on SMU underscore keys, I can double click on it, and now it's selected. I can go from the menu search and hit search to bring up a search window. I can also go to the toolbar and find the flashlight and do a search and hit search and I'll bring up that same window. Finally, I can also use keys from the keyboard and set control H which will bring up the search window. So let's go ahead and do the search. Now we see that it opened another window and it told me the number of occurrences for SMU underscore keys in the workspace is 17 matches. You also notice to the right there are some other icons that we can use. So we can jump to the next, previous. We can also remove certain ones from our occurrences from our search. We can also collapse and also expand the window we have here. And we can also do a search history. And we can also choose to be a list view or back to the tree view. So let's go ahead and ask our first occurrence. When we click on it, and we see that it, you both get it highlighted you see an arrow where it found it and it tells you it was on line 73 and it opened the file automatically ifxpmspm.c I can move to the next one uh, and it will move me down and you see now it's on line 80 and shows here I can move to the previous one and I can also choose to exclude this and you'll see now it's also removed so now when I do my next entry it no longer sees this occurrence how to enable block selection mode in Orcs Development Studio. In Orcs Development Studio, we can simply enable the block mode by using a keyboard shortcut of Alt-Shift-A. You see now my cursor has changed to a cross, and now I can select a whole block, and I can cut it, or I can paste it. You can see I've stayed in this mode until I exit it. So to exit it, all I have to do is get Alt Shift A again, and now I've exited, and now when I select, I'm in a normal selection mode. How to find a function definition in Orcs Development Studio. To find where the function is defined, we can simply double click on the function, and you also see that it'll show a highlight here where we can change the focus, and we press F2, and now we can see the whole function. But let's see where it's defined in the code. So here, I just right click, and I can go to Open Declaration, or I could have hit F3. So now we open it, and now we move to the file, and this is where it's defined. Did you know Orcs Development Studio keeps a local history of all your code changes? Let's say I had an issue, and I want to revert back. Well, you can select either a source file or a header file. In this example, let's select CPU Azure underscore main. I just right click it, go to compare with local history. Then a history window opens up with all the times that it made a different change. So let's go back to the very first one and now I get a compare viewer showing my current file and the history file. You also see some different icons here where you can navigate up to different differences or different changes. Auto Discover Compiler Include Paths in Orcs Development Studio. When compiling your code in Orcs Development Studio, it needs to know the path for all the files that are included in your build. It is suggested that you have this option enabled. This will automatically include any files that you add to your project or if you rename your project. To find these settings, we click on the project that we want to check, right click, go to Properties. When the Properties window opens, we want to select Rx Development Studio and then click it so we can see the build, check the build, and make sure the checkbox for Auto Discover Compiler Include Pass is checked. We can also check when we go to the C++ Build, Settings, and Include Pass, and you'll see that it's all grayed out. If you didn't want to use the automatic and you want to manually control everything, simply go back to the build, uncheck this, apply and close, reopen your project, properties, go back to your settings, 
And now you see that you're able to edit any one of your include paths manually. Using Refactor in Orcs Development Studio. I'll give you two examples to use Refactor. One is to rename and one to extract a function. So let me start by rename. So if I want to rename SMU underscore SFF, I have to have it selected. Then I can go Refactor and say Rename. Now I click in and I can see the square box around it. So now let me put in test in front of it and hit enter. So now this has been refactored. So if I look at the where the function is defined, I see that it's changed. And I can also look at the header file and see it's changed. So it changed in all three files. Now let's go and show how we can extract for a function. Let's say here I want to reuse this. I can highlight this. And now it's all highlighted. Now I can go refactor and I can go extract for function. And you'll see it's brought up a template and it's shown me void extracted with the value and the value I have shown here. So let me just rename this my test. Now I see my test has been added and then you see a new function is created for my test with the passing the parameter value. Using templates in Orcs Development Studio. Templates are shortcuts used to insert a predefined framework of code into your file. The purpose is to save time and reduce the potential for errors. Once a template is inserted, you can complete the code quickly using manual and automated code entry methods. A template must be defined in the templates list before it can be used. For this example, I will use the for loop with a temporary variable template. To begin, place your cursor at the desired insertion point in your file. Begin by typing the characters that belong to template, in this case, F. Then click Control Space. The Content Assist box will appear listing all available templates and completion options that begin with that combination of keys. Templates that are marked in the Content Assist list are listed as a blue square. You can hit Control Space again, and now it will just bring up the different proposals for the templates. I want to double click on for loop with temporary variable. It has now been placed into the code and you'll see the var has been highlighted allowing you to type in what you want to be defined. I will define this as delay. You see that it has also been populated across the for loop. Now I want to change the max value so I can simply hit tab and it moves me to the max value and I will simply put in a constant of 5000. I can hit tab again and it brings me to the body of the for loop and I'll just going to finish the for loop by putting a semicolon. Edit Project Metadata in Orcs Development Studio. Orcs Development Studio provides a window for editing the metadata fields that can be used in your project as a repository index. This metadata would be included in the file cpu0 underscore main dot c at the bottom of the file common header. To edit the metadata, simply right click on the project and then go edit project metadata. This opens a window with showing all the fields that are editable. In this case, it's already populated because this was an example imported into Oryx Development Studio. For yours, you can simply modify or change and add and click finish. You'll see at the bottom of the file, as we already mentioned, your data would be shown here. How to open call hierarchy in Orcs Development Studio. To find the call hierarchy for a function, just double click on the function itself that you want to find, then right click and you can go down and select call hierarchy. Here you can also see Control alt h will give you the hotkeys to it. So let's click on it. You'll see a call hierarchy window has opened and given you all the places it's being called. And you can see in this function it's being called eight times. So I can double click on here and it will bring to me uh, the function itself and show where the calls are being made. How to format an Oryx Development Studio. You can auto format your code according to set standards or customize it to your needs. This makes it easier to navigate and more readable. Give an example in this function. I have many things on one line. To simply format this, I can simply select the file, I can go to source, and I can say format. And you'll see now it's all changed. 
But how do I set these settings? You can go to Project, Properties, and then under the General Formatter, you can see what type of styles you want. In my case, I have set up my Oryx code style. You can simply edit this, and it comes up with another window, and you can choose how you want your code to look like. Like, do I want to use spaces or tabs, or mixed? What is my tab size? How do I want braces, white spaces, new lines, control statements, and etc., etc.